In this video, how to set up an IP webcam camera for a Zoom or Meet video meeting, which really looks like this in terms of our figurative person is saying, if only I could spruce up a video meeting, make it more visual and interesting. What if I could use any old phone lying about in a drawer? I've been working from home now for months. How can I make things more interesting? Which is what you see on screen with my little demo area here using a demonstration teaching session somewhere away from my desk. The way I've set it up is I'm using my phone on a tripod in a demonstration area. Let's say it was a teaching session or a sharing session or look what I've made session doesn't really matter because you could use anything from the green grass to cooking or cake. In our example, we're looking at a demonstration area, maybe if I don't know, creative writing with a miniature bus, a fidget spinner and some acorns and horse chestnut by the looks of it. This example that I'm talking about uses Android IP webcam found on the Google Play Store. There are two versions, IP webcam that does absolutely anything. And then for a couple of UK pounds, you can get webcam pro it looks like this. So. When you open the app, what you get is the top right button, apart from of all the menu parts, which says Start Server. That's when the app starts to do something. The method we're going to employ, again, whether that's for Zoom, Meet, Skype, whatever meeting client you're using, is number one. Open the IP webcam app and start it and take a note of the IP address. Then open up your video call, whether that be Zoom or Meet or whatever. Open a Chrome browser. I use Chrome, a tab, and then enter the IP address, which will look something like that. In number four, choose a screen share or a present in Google Meet, selecting a Chrome tab. I will demo that on screen for you. So in Zoom, we have the screen share, which moves straight over to this green area and that's what your viewers, your participants in your meeting will actually see. So that example is in a Zoom meeting, that's what they will see. In a Google Meet meeting, again, this time choose a Chrome tab. You could do a window, but I've chosen a Chrome tab, which looks like this. And then what the viewer using the Meet will actually see is something like this, which again is our demo screen. There is an advanced zoom option in share screen, which is a portion of the screen, which allows you to drag a green area to cut out anything that's unnecessary. In other words, the Chrome area at the top, so you can size it wherever you like. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, well, can I make things different on screen as a viewer? That is the host demo screen I've just said. In Google Meet, you can pinch zoom to make this bigger or smaller, but it does not stop there because if you are running the meeting or the demonstration area using the IP webcam, then when you go into Chrome, there are tons of things that you can do. So you can video render things in Flash Browser, Java, JavaScript or full screen. You can control audio, two way audio maybe, you can record it straight to the phone's hard drive, the video that you're showing. You can zoom stream quality. You can compensate for exposure, turn the flashlight on or off the LED. You can do tons of different things. If you want to share that whole IP webcam to the Internet, then IP webcam partners or hosts or includes iVidian. And here is my setup where I've got a Motorola G4 and a Lenovo tablet and that is the stream that is active on this screen. If you click one of those iVidians you get that. That is pretty much it which was how to set up the webcam camera for a zoom or video meeting to spruce it up and to make life a lot better for you maybe psychologically and to demo th demo things that are actually particularly out of arm's length like maybe an overhead camera for cooking or um, some kind of session out the window in this example it was using a phone on a tripod which is looking at a demonstration screen that was me mike downs good luck with it ask a question if you need to